Good day guys, today I just want to give you a few tips on the, the gearbox, the topping up of gearbox oil and the changing of gearbox oil. Many people still find this a hard thing to do because they do not know where the correct holes are and they fill up oil in the wrong holes. Let me give you a few tips. Number one. This is not where you fill in gearbox oil. Please don't fill up in there. That is an inspection hole used for ignition timing. Okay, the next hole that you must not use to fill up gearbox oil is this here, which some people use, is the reverse light switch. They will remove this and they will unscrew that and they will attempt to throw gearbox oil in there. It's a very small hole and you're going to cause a big mess. Please don't do that. Another area where people tend to throw in gearbox oil is here with the speedo cable. They will loosen that bolt there and remove the speedo cable and top up there. But you risk parts of the speedo cable falling into the gearbox if you start pulling and tugging on this gearbox um, cable. So this is a bit of a risky move here. So please rather not top up from that area because you will not know how much oil that you actually have in your gearbox by doing that because the filler nut will not be removed and now that is the area in which I'm going to next I want to show you where to actually fill up the gearbox oil by loosening which is commonly called the filler nut and I'm going to take you there right now and that means we need to go underneath the car to see this Okay, so I'm underneath the car. So this is what is commonly called the filler nut. This is the area, this is the nut that needs to be loosened to fill up with gear oil or to top up. As you can see, it's a 17 inch type Allen key tool that you would need. But uh, many people become very creative and use and make their own tools, you know, like the back of a 17 inch bolt. So the idea is, once you've removed this, and oil runs out of here, gearbox oil run out of here, you will know that your level is correct. If nothing runs out, then you know that you need your top up. So when you top up, you throw oil in here, you will insert a little pipe in here, and you'll throw in some more oil. And then as it seeps out, you know it's reaching its level. So that is basically how you would top up your oil level. And thereafter, you will just close this tightly. And that is basically how you top up your gearbox oil. Okay. That was a top up, but now, for example, if you want to do a full gearbox oil change by draining the old oil, you will have to go to this nut here, which is a similar type nut which I've just shown you the filler nut. It's a, it's the same size. This will have to be loosened, and this is where the gearbox oil will drain out. Now just a tip, before you even drain the oil, make sure that you can get off your filler nut. The reason I'm saying that is, you don't want to drain all your oil out and not being able to get new oil in because you couldn't move, remove the filler nut. That's just a tip. Make sure you can first remove the filler nut and then remove this nut, drain the oil, put back the bolt, and then put in fresh oil, and then close both bolts. That is basically how you would do an oil change on the gearbox, and you would probably need to put in about 1.8 to 2 liters of gearbox oil. That is basically how you do the oil change on the Golf Mark 1.